self-propelled by the wind. <laughs> this is our digs and that's our little uh, viewpoints if you like. Lovely mountains, little harbour with boats. And our house. Car was lovely and clean when we picked it up. Now it's a bit dirty. <laughs> My friends welcome back to the channel and as you uh, are well aware we are now in Lofoten Islands Norway we just stopped off here because you can see behind me we've got some fantastic ice structures I'll show you them now This is the next day now and I um, hope you can hear me because the waves are crashing. This is uh, day two if you like of our holiday. We've come out, this is a sunrise location on the beach. We'll be heading out later on uh, towards the further down the coast, probably towards rain. But uh, I hope you enjoy the scenery as I'm about to show you and I'll speak to you sometime later on. Okay, until then enjoy the video. Thanks, bye. Okay, so Mike and myself have come up this mountain to um, have a look overlook in the lake. I'm going to spin you around whilst I'm talking to you so you can see the background. Ellis, Luke and Adam crossed the stream because we started coming up to this lake, but we were on the wrong side. So them three braved it, but being six foot plus, with the exception of Luke, that does help. Me and Mike, no, it's only a photo. We'll find another way. And here we are. But as you can see behind, it's a, it's a lovely lake, so I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. 
I'm not sure how the vlogs are going to turn out. I'll probably put to be continued, so uh, not to overdo 15 minutes of time or something like that. Uh, you know, makes it a bit easier on the viewing for those who want to view, of course. Anyhow, more photos to take, so uh, I'll get back to you again a bit later. Thanks for watching, see you later. Morning again everyone welcome to day three of our trip in Norway today we come out for a sunrise at another beach in a different location very windy um, no luck so far with the northern lights but that's unfortunate it's just the way it goes isn't it uh, nevertheless we're having a good time and there's just been here and seeing the scenery getting out is, is it's great uh, you can see the waves behind me I'm going to spin you as I talk to you so you can see but um, the waves we've got some awesome waves going on here um, the snow is slowly going off the tops of the mountains, unfortunately, but there is more f snow forecast for Thursday, so we may be in a bit of luck. But those rocks behind me, particularly that big one you can see, that's uh, really getting some nice uh, spray off there. Okay, so uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Speak to you later. Bye. Look at the colour of that water, lovely turquoise, unbelievable, you have to see it to believe it. And the lads are up there, let's get on and do some photos.
Well, today has been quite an eventful day. Basically, we went out this morning. Um, we went out to the second beach where we walked past the bridge that you saw. And yeah, as you probably gathered by watching the video, it was very, very windy. Now, first of all, Ellis was setting up a shot, turned his back, made a mistake, and one of the gust of winds took his tripod and blew it over and smashed the front of his polarizer. Luckily for him, because it could have been a lot worse, it was just a polarizer that was smashed. No damage to the lens or the camera. So there we have it. Just a little bit later on, struck with me. I just set my tripod up on this rock I was gonna get, turned around to my bag to get the bigger lens out, the 7200, and big gust of wind comes over and down goes my tripod. So lucky in the fact that I didn't have my camera on it, but what did happen, as you can see, the actual tripod head snapped completely off. So that could have been disastrous for me, but luckily I had the gorilla pod and the Joby head just screwed off that one and now it's on the tripod. So big lesson there learned for any of you out there. We were both unlucky, but at the same time, probably lucky because uh, it could have been far worse what with our cameras getting damaged. But uh, yeah, that's uh, part of the fun, I suppose. Um, there we have it. So anyway, tomorrow's another day and we'll see what we can find then. Until then, I'll pick you up later on. Bye. Okay, so I thought I'd show you the inside of our house. There's the front door. Just want to show you this. What we have down here are shoe warmers. What a wonderful idea. And that rack down there is also a heated foot rack. So our uh, stuff in the morning is very nicely warmed up indeed. Through to the kitchen, lovely, it's a nice eye cook, and we have burgers, chips and beans, Mike's turn tomorrow, into our dining living room area, there we go.